own. His 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 name, one of his dynastic names was Amraphel. He is mentioned several times in the book of Genesis, in Genesis chapter 14. He was ruling uh, Babylon when Sodom and Gomorrah rebelled and, and Kedo Laramor of Elam put together a huge confederation and they invaded. This is the background story to Genesis when Lot was, was abducted with his family from Sodom and Abraham had to go to go rescue him with 318 servants. Now, the English translations of the text make it look like that Abraham was some type of superhero because his own household, his own household servants, his own household, maybe maybe workers or, or, or some soldiers, and 318 men of, of, uh, of Amorites, that's all it says, joined him. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the original Hebrew text go into much more detail. These aren't just Amorites, they're Gibram. These were giants. These were Westerners. They had technology. They had they had uh, science. They were they were there was nothing ordinary about these men. They had just invaded the Near East and they were without opposition. They began what's called the Fifth Dynasty of Babylon. You know this in the history books. They gloss over it, but the main ruler. The Amorites put on the throne was the guy who was already ruling. They just changed his name. He's no longer Amar Udaak, Merodak, Marduk, Nimrod. He's not. He, they come and they name him Amurabi. And Amurabi was the king of the fifth dynasty of Babylon. He's the same guy. The Amorites came in. The Amorites were green-eyed and blue-eyed, blonde-haired and red-haired Caucasians from North America. And when they came in, they came in, they came in in numbers, whole occupation forces. They carved out a city and called it Mari, a kingdom called Mitanni. And from there, they sent out armies to, to Urarshu. They, to Lake Van, to the Black Sea, to Egypt. They set up the Hyksos dynasty. The Egyptians hated them, but they were always called Westerners. The, this was a massive invasion of Caucasians from America who had just had the North America totally obliterated in an impact event. Now, this was the second impact event that had happened in North America. The first was in 3439 BC and began the Anunnaki histories with the arrival of Enki in a fleet of ships. Now, some accounts, like Thor Heyerdahl gives a lot of details about the fleets and where they came from by way of the island of Dilmun around the ancient nation of Magan. Well, this is way before Egypt was even settled.